How you doing, Mr. DJ? Going to get in, going to shoehorn in another Lost 45 from Billboard's Hot 100 of November 18, 1961. Very obscure record, didn't make top 40. <clears throat> but if you were around back in the early 60s, you probably remember Joe Dowell. And uh, let me bring that up for you real quick on Billboard's Hot 100. Well, here we go. Let me, let me give you a little rundown real quick now that I'm in this part of the chart. Debuting at number 57 that week of November the 18th, 1961, Run to Him by Bobby Fee. Little Sister by Elvis at number 56. Moving down, though, from 43, that was a kick-ass rock and roll record. If Elvis had only done more great rock and roll records like that one. And we got The Twist by Chubby Checker at number 55, debuting at number 55. Take Good, of my, take good Care of My Baby by Bobby Fee at number 54, down for 47, produced by Snuff Garrett, and at number 53, it's all that I want to talk to you about. Uh, hanging in there at no, from number 53 the previous week, The Bridge of Love by Joe Dowell. Joe Dowell from Indiana. His first hit record was Wooden Heart. Had about three of them. Wooden Heart. Ray Stevens backed him up on that one, sang back up on Wooden Heart, and that was a million seller for, uh, uh, for uh, Joe Dowell. Actually, I just learned this. You might not have known this. Wooden Heart was actually covered by Elvis. Elvis had to hit with it first, but it was in Europe. His version was not released here in the States, but then Joe Dowell covered it. Uh, his his runner-ups, the runner-ups didn't do as well. Uh, there was, oh God, Little Red Rowboat. Do you might remember a Little Red Rowboat? That was a brilliant record, a brilliant little storytelling. It's kind of a sad record, but <laughs> a bittersweet record at the very least. But Little Red Rowboat by uh, Joe Dowell. That one went to number 23. And then, but the single before that, the one I'm talking to you about by uh, Joe Dowell, which would be uh, The Bridge of Love, only got as high as number 50 on Billboard's Hot 100. One other thing about Wooden Heart. Wooden Heart was the first single... Uh, it was either the first single or the first hit that came off the Smash record label. The Smash record label, which became pretty popular back in the 60s, the record label. Uh, Roger Miller recorded hit records for Smash record label. The Walker Brothers did, too. The Walker Brothers, the sun ain't gonna shine anymore. And uh, Make It Easy on Yourself, they covered. They did a beautiful cover of that uh, Jerry Butler record that Walker Brothers did. That was off the Smash and also Swinging Medallions record for the Smash record label, but that was later on. And uh, Joe Dowell, now here's the thing about Joe Dowell. He, after Wood Hart came out, he wanted to be a songwriter. He aspired to be a songwriter. He thought he had some clout to write some songs now that he had this big hit. However... The, his contract prevented him from writing his own songs. He had to cover, his contract called for him to, co to uh, cover records, to cover tunes that were owned by the Mercury record label, which was the parent company of Smash. The tunes that were generated by Mercury, Joe Dow was required to do, and that's it. Couldn't, couldn't write his own material outside of that framework. That had to be frustrating. Well, he was dropped from the record company anyway. He had some problems with his management, and that's it. He was gone. He did record a little bit for the Monument record label, but his chart success was pretty much limited to the Smash record label. Three hit records. That's about it. Joe Dowell coming in at number 53 on Billboard's Hot 100 the week of November 18, 1961. The Bridge of Love.